Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. That is technical knowledge. That is Swapnil, and today I will show you how you can connect uh, uh, to the SharePoint list data and how you can extract SharePoint list data in a nine. And then, if you want, you can do a further process. So, without further ado, uh, we can start. First, what you have to do is you have to connect to the authenticator. Microsoft Authenticator is the first step you have to do because you have to provide credentials if you want to connect to the. Uh, uh, SharePoint or SharePoint uh, any other stuff in SharePoint so you have to add a scope scope should be you can select any I will select third one SharePoint I want means if I want SharePoint file list or list items I can do it uh, you have to click on a login <clears throat> okay uh, in login you need you need to add a credentials in that uh, if you are not aware about this I have created a video separate video for that you can use that uh, uh, as a reference okay I will add a link in that so now uh, the next step is just a second so the next step is you have to do is uh, let me okay uh, second step is uh, the authentication is completed right so what you have to do is uh, this is my SharePoint list uh, called project list and uh, it's under project ext okay I will copy this folder uh, path okay and this is the connected uh, if I play this it will be green means green means it's properly connected next thing is you have to add a node called SharePoint list SharePoint list reader if you recently installed this uh, application called Nime application in your system then it will not appear over here if you type this SharePoint list reader and it is important part for this uh, particular video or this operation so if it is not available then don't worry you have to click on menu you can add extensions in from here you can install extensions like uh, if you want for SharePoint or Databricks or any other uh, stuff right so um, you have to just type over here SharePoint I have already installed it but I will show you SharePoint list okay so from here you have to just uh, mark this as a checkbox and click on a next and it will take some time one or one minute I guess and then uh, you have to uh, once it is installed you have to reset or you have to restart your NIME application then it will appear okay this is the simple step so now I have to do is I have to paste uh, you have to oh, okay click on web URL paste your SharePoint site link click on refresh and it will show all your list now I want to extract data from project list so this is all items I have and this is uh, you can see this is system generated columns also available but I don't want that so I will use a filter if I need it okay so if I play this you can see 12 records is available and there are multiple columns 28 columns available I don't want 28 columns so what I will do is I will filter uh, you have to specifically mention column filter you have to select this connect this node it's setting uh, okay I will remove all these I will you know, select title column I don't need assets start date end date client status technology okay and modified and created okay now I have selected um, my columns and if I play okay so all this data is extracted right uh, it's page properly now I want this in a SharePoint uh, sorry I want this in the Excel uh, so what I will do I will select Excel writer again connect this node setting I I want to store this in my PC so I will click on browse I have separate I have created separate uh, uh, folder for that called nine 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 okay and over here just mention the name latest SP data okay save uh, you can okay from this setting you can um, mention the sheet name also or you want uh, the default one I don't want that name I want uh, the sheet name should be a sheet one properly apply and okay uh, now if I play this there will be an error what is that error is uh, if I hover over it you will get the details unsupported column time list okay so we have uh, 
uh, if you can see uh, there are columns and if below that uh, the, their data type is also mentioned so technology is kind of array variable because technology in sharepoint i use technology as a multi choice field and it's currently not supported so we have to remove it uh, for time being okay so what i will do is i will remove technology from here okay and if i play this it's override it or it's uh, saved in my system so if i check mm -mm -mm -mm. latest sp data okay and this is how it will look uh, this one is again okay latest sp data But I don't select it this right atom child uh, okay let me let me check my column name is latest SP data apply okay 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 got it okay I, I think I have selected this uh, but okay I don't want this I don't need okay I will do what I will do is I will I will select only title uh, start date end date because I don't need unnecessary columns uh, you can use this same thing in your uh, in in your case also uh, just remember to remove technology I think I have removed a technology okay I have added so I will remove this because it's not supported currently in a nine and if I this again error because I need to overwrite this apply okay let's see okay what if I close this and again open it okay now I have selected columns at with proper data 12 rows right so this is how you can use SharePoint list reader and extract the data from SharePoint list to your Excel or want to do any further process in nine thank you so much